Jeli so na delas ki ste Rakela dedo do kopi jo v Rakljas, a sar tu Rakljas. He shed his love. Iskri laska tu ke si kajas. And now, Akana. you can sleep. Some of you needed to take medications before you can sleep. I remember one of the ladies here that everything in her organs was gone. Everything that was inside was done. And then Jesus found her. And then Jesus healed her completely. I, thought, I think I see her. She's right there. Right there. That lady there. Yes. Yeah, right there. Everything. Jeez. The last one that was so powerful was she needed to do baptism. But she had a, I don't know what it's called. Sorry? Maker. And the doctor said, you do it at your own risk. <laughs> now we respect doctors. I mean, respect but not everything they know. Amen. Amen. The doctors also need doctors. Also need doctors. O doktora, tiš doktoren. But there is a chief doctor. <laughs> and right here, I remember we had to put so many Pametino butla zao paninde aš ručnika pretola kerasinde kai te nađa lakandro pani but she went into the water ale gela sali ponorime na do pani avla sabri she went back the next two days or so to the doctors and they found out that everything in her has changed and that she did not need to do the surgery and that she doesn't need it anymore ai ma na potebino jadno hadita Right here. The there. This is the Jesus we are talking about. So on this day, by the power of the resurrection, something that is dead in your life, a relationship, a dream, finances, education, your work with God. If anything is dead in your life, because he lives, that thing is coming back to life. I thought your amen would be louder. I said something is about to come to life in your life today. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Before you sit down, is Find six people and tell them things are coming back to life in your life. Things are coming back to life in your life. Come on, tell them. Things are coming back to life. Dead things. Come on. Leave your seat. Talk to someone. Talk to someone. Talk to someone. Hallelujah. Dead things come alive. Dead things come alive. Dead things come alive. They are coming back to life. In the name of Jesus. Hey, 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 hey. Dead things come alive. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Give Jesus praise. I want to welcome you to the house of the Lord. I believe the Lord brought you here today because he has something special for you. Amen. Let us pray. Jesus, we look to you. 
The power of resurrection. For many of you and many of us, you've gone to resurrection service before. When we talk about what is resurrection, it is to raise again. Number two, it is to come back to life again. Not only to come back to life again, but to live, never to die again. That is the essence of the resurrection of Christ. Many people have died and have resurrected before. But each one of them, they went back to die. Ale sako každé manuše sta a dele palete merel, ale o Ježíš Kristus na veky živel. When he rose from the dead, kana jo vuštila sandale smrti, he andalo hrobos. Few years ago when I was in Israel, I lied in his empty tomb. Zo paroki ale star jo pašlila sandale skro hrobos prazno. And I'm here to tell you a da dive si no kada tu ke penel, ho biblicki. It is true. And then in proving it for myself, it is true. And by scientific truth, it is also true. He is alive. He is not dead. He is alive. Now the purpose of him being alive is so that you will live. Because if Resurrection Sunday is only dancing, we can go to parties and dance. If Resurrection Sunday is by shouting, we can shout in sporting games. But Resurrection Sunday is because a Savior arose and he is alive. Hallelujah. Amen. Say amen. Ten amen. In Acts chapter 2 verse 24. Today I want you to hear revelation. And then we will pray. I am 100% sure that fire will fill this place. Tell your neighbor you can say amen. Say amen is free. Amen ehin slobodne siyaba. Tell him again, Amen is free. Oh, amen in so you can say amen. amen. Some of you are still not saying, say I amen. Amen. So the word amen simply Slovo means it amen is so. It's, it's like, like you are prophesying. prophesying. And you are agreeing with the word of God. It says that but God released him from the horrors of death Ale Bog ho vzkriesil a zbavil bolosti smrti a Boh ho vzkriesil a zbavil bolosti smrti ako ani nemohol zostať v jej moci. Today I want you to understand that death could not hold Christ. That is why death cannot hold you as well. Let me share a secret with you. Anytime you are afraid, it is because fear is linked to death. Every fear. The ultimate end of fear is death. So you are afraid of, let's say, losing your relationship. Just example. If you do the permutation or the equation, the devil will end it with death. Okay, so I lose this relationship. My heart is broken. No one loves me. I mess up. 
You become depressed. The devil says, now kill yourself. So every form of fear, whether it is financial fear, relational fear, whatever the fear is, it is linked to death. So the, the work of the devil is to keep the fear of death around. That is why for Christians and for believers the power of resurrection is so amazing because it tells us that death is temporal. Hallelujah. Amen. That death cannot hold you captive. That even the fear of death is afraid of the one who rose. Hallelujah. Amen. Shout amen. amen. And so today, I just want us to come to a place of understanding. Life is a journey of understanding. Understanding makes you stand out. Understanding a topic makes you enjoy a deeper reward in that topic. When you don't understand, you are frustrated. When you don't understand, you worry. When you don't understand, you, you get yourself into pain and worry and frustration. For example, when you understand money, it works for you. When you understand health, you live a healthy life. When you understand marriage, you enjoy the beauty of marriage. When you have higher understanding of what you are to do in life. Purpose. Life brings you reward. So you are rewarded by your level of understanding. What you can't understand, you cannot see. And what you cannot see, it makes you frustrated. This is the reason why many Christians are weak. Because they cannot see the power of resurrection. And that is why today, as the Lord was visiting me with revelation, he said to me, many of my children have been in church but they don't have understanding of the power of resurrection. They've heard about it. They know about it. They've been in a service about it. But they don't have the in-depth of understanding of the power of resurrection. So this few minutes journey that we are going to take, I pray that the eyes of your understanding will be lighted. Watch this. That you will know the hope of your calling and the exceeding greatness of the power. Somebody shout power. Hey, Salikato. The power that works in you. This is the secret. There is a form of power that is supposed to work in you. This power is generated by understanding. The lack of this understanding will make you powerless. It doesn't mean the generator of that power is not there. The generator is there. Why? Christ in you. The hope of glory. 
So there is a form of glory that is supposed to work in you. Now understand from Genesis glory is the purchasing power of the believer. Why? All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. So the falling short of the glory of God is what brought pain in life. And as long as you keep falling short of that glory, pain is inevitable. You will continue to walk in pain. And yet, Jesus, the Son of God, He is giving His life to you and me. And by accepting Christ, the glory is restored. Friends, ladies and gentlemen, the power of resurrection is a revelation that the glory has been restored. 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 What is this glory? The light of God. Once again, understanding. The light of God. Weight of God. The strength of God. The might of God. That's what glory is. The supernatural enablement. You see, sitting here today, are human beings Oh, Holy Spirit, help me that they will understand. Human beings, Buki. Manusha. They are not human. Nane manusha. I knew you were going to stone me today. Okay, uka meninen les hadak jives. I said sitting here. Beshen kada. Under the sound of my voice. Ashunen les krohlasi. A human beings. In jene osobi. They are not humans. Ale nane manusha. Anymore. Buter. Amen. Pastor, what are you saying? So the pen is pastor. If any man be in Christ, is a new creation. What kind of creation is this? That word new creation on the cast is a God kind of creation. So that man that God used to show up in the cool of the day to talk to the Bible says and Adam heard hear this, the voice of God walking or only spirit can hear voice walking it says and he heard the voice of God walking in the cool of the day. And then he said, Adam, Adam, where are you? Yes. Now, this is even in his fallen state. This is before he decided to blame. He had fallen, but he had not blamed yet. And at that time, he could still hear the voice of God walking. I've never seen voice walking. It takes the spirit to understand that voice can walk. Hallelujah. Amen. You are dangerous. I said you are dangerous. I said you are dangerous. Tell your neighbor, look at me. I'm dangerous. I carry something. There is something in me. Hey. Amen. Hmm. And so, when we talk about the resurrection power, we need to understand why will Jesus resurrect? 
and what is in his resurrection we need to understand that when we talk about his resurrection the power of resurrection brings us the continuation of the life of Christ in the now you see Christianity, as long as it's a religion, will make you walk in fear. Shame. And you will not be able to do much for God. But as long as you understand that your Savior is alive, and he expects you to continue what he did. It changes your life. And when we talk about the power of resurrection, number one, it allows the believer to continue the life of Christ in the now. Not what he did. Only. Because he is the same yesterday, same today, and same forever. So what the resurrection does is that it brings the believer to understand that where Christ ended is where I begin. If he cast out devils, let me tell you something. If you are not willing to be radical, you'll be very uncomfortable today. If you want just a Christian who just wants something small, being beaten by the devil, being cast away in your dreams, spirits chasing you whilst you're sleeping, offended every, with everything, sick with every kind of sickness, then you may not understand the Christianity I'm talking about. I'm talking about those that understand like you today that the resurrection power brings you to the continuation of where Christ ended. They that believed in me the works that I do shall they do also because I go to the Father, I will not leave you as orphans. But as I go, behold, I give you power. Behold, I give you power. Power to tread upon serpents. Power to overcome oppression. Power to overcome limitations. Power to heal. Power to save. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the power and the kind of life your Christianity has given you. I came to remind you who you are. I said I came to remind you who you are. I see giants rising. I see anointed men rising. I see men and women of fire rising. Power is being spread up. Hey, Karisha Lipa Katoskaya. Listen to this. I feel like doing a moonwalk. Oh my God. I feel like flying. Some, something is bubbling. But I need to teach this thing. Because our, our objective today is understanding. Amen. Amen. There are services where the objective is power. In slujbi, but today the objective emos. of the Holy Ghost to Ala me is bring you understanding. Because once your eyes can see, you will do the impossible. So, the purpose of the resurrection is that we will continue that which Christ manifested through us. Number two. The purpose of this resurrection is to 
endorse and enforce Kai te jas his credibility aleskre možnosti da he lived hoyov jivelas te si davas and was he lived akim yov jivelas what he said koda so yov penelas happened achlas pes exactly as he said presni kafka sar penelas achlas pes the holy ghost says something to me aldux svetiles ke penjas vareso the son of god osin boji is the only one he no yedino ever lived so jivelas that gave an appointment to himself a corcoro pes delas appointment before dying anglale smrt and after dying a pale smrt he fulfilled the appointment na pulninja spresnie koja uloha koda ustanovenie a ho appointment pes no one has ever been able to do it niko kada na dokazinja sikero chayo his disciples i of penjas le uchenikenge i behold i go to jerusalem javando jerusalem i will die amemerava but on the third day ale potreco jives i will rise uschava But when I arrive Ale kana uschava Meet me in Jerusalem Raken manando Jerusalem Stretnien to men manando Jerusalem Stretnien to men The Bible says that when he told Daniel kana lenge kada penjas Because no one has ever had a record of that before Niko na lenge zazna chimen kada ho yo yeshirela penela Bujene o yari minjer de nashle His followers disappeared. Les krekola nasledovatelia denashle. But in Acts chapter 1 and chapter 2 Ale we know that 50 days after his death on the day of Pentecost. Kai 50 dni pa leskro. They gathered a whole 120 of them. In the room. And the miestnosti. And the Holy Ghost came. A Duh Sveti zostupinjas. But before that. Ale anglal kada He showed himself. In the book of Acts chapter 1. And Can we start reading Acts chapter 1 so that I can prove something from verse 1 to 3. Let's read Acts chapter 1 1 1 1 to 3. In the show it says that in the, in my first book I told you Theophilus about everything Jesus began to do and teach. Watch this. Until the day he was taken up to heaven. After giving his chosen apostles further instructions through the Holy Spirit. During the 40 days after he suffered and died. He appeared to the apostles from time to time. He, he, the scripture says in the verse two that he gave them the instructions that he would meet them. The writer is saying that he fulfilled the instruction that he met them. That within the 40 days after his death Paolo 40 dni sar uschela rakela bezmanchenza takže ando žido he met as many as 500 a oda ha svetki so dikle so les dikle svet after he rose from the dead Paolo skriesenie sar uschela zada He has done it. He kerjas. And he will keep doing it. You can choose not to trust man. Možno šaj tu ke pene sakana nadvoverina v manušenge. But trust his word. Ale dvoverin les krela vesti. I said trust his word. Dvoverin les krela vesti. If I stand here and I begin to give you stories. Adela tu chapribehi. Don't trust it. Madvoverin. Amen. Amen. If anyone speaks to you by stories. They don't qualify to speak to you. No matter how powerful they are. It has to be biblical. Because that is what is true. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on, hallelujah. Amen. Shout hallelujah. Amen. His credibility is true. Les kada ho yof kerela sa lebo penela si pravda o skriesenie si kavel les kri moc alebo dokazine les kri moc it takes power jedine e moc to come out of the grave potrebine so i tavi savri andalo hrobos and he came out of the grave a jo vavlja savri andalo hrobos death could not hold him captive e smrt les našti chudlas otrokos His resurrection proved his identity as a king of kings. 
And I said it already, the resurrection is a proof that death is temporal. Let us read a few verses as we establish our case today. Let's use 1 Corinthians 15. Hallelujah. 15. We can start from one. It's either. It says that let me now remind you, dear brothers and sisters, of the good news that I preached to you before. It says you welcome it and you still stand. Firm in it. Verse two. I'm, I'm going to read quite a bit. And it says that it is this good news that saved you if you As continue to believe the message I told you. Unless, of course, you believe something that was never true. In the first place. It says, I passed on to you what was first important and what also was passed on to me. That Christ died. Christus umrel. Can you go back? Christ died. Že Christus umrel. For our sins. Pre naše hriechy. Just as the scripture said. Podľa písem. He was buried. Verse a 4. A bol pochovaný. And he was raised. A v tretí deň bol from the dead. On the third day. Podľa písem. Just as the scripture said. Sa. Keep going. And he was seen by Peter. I ukázal sa Petrom Kefašovi. Potom 12. Potom zjavil and sa. After that, a potom he was seen zjavil sa naraz by more than 500 viac ako 500 of his followers at one time. Na and then he says mieste, most of whom are still väčšina alive. Žije až do some has died. Then he was seen Potom by James. Jakubovi. And later, Potom by all the apostles. Last of all, as though I had posled, been born na at the wrong time, ako čas, I also tu sa, saw him. Aj mne. Ladies and gentlemen, people of God, the proof, the scientific proof of the resurrection remember in the time in which this is recorded the Pharisees, the Hebrew, the Sanhedrin and the scribes and the Romans that used to rule hated everything about the Christ so their job was to discredit the truthfulness of the fact that he rose that is why after he died on the third day when he rose the scripture says that he gave, they took the guards that were there they gave them bribe a dine len odmeni. Saying. He pendelenge. Tell the world. Penenle svetoske. That his. Uh, disciples came. Leskre učenika avle. And stole his body. A čor de leskro telos. The Holy Spirit said something to me that shocked me. He said to me. If believers will not rise. The devil will continue to give wealth to the unrighteous. To discredit the gospel. You see it is this reason why the enemy fight. The generosity of believers. Because he from the beginning. Hates the spreading of the gospel. No wonder they gave bribe. To the soldiers. To tell lies. But the devil is alive. This gospel of the kingdom. Shall be preached all across the nations of the world. I wish they can show the pictures of the 
crusades we had in Zambia just last Sunday. Ten thousand people giving their life to Jesus. Just last Sunday. Just last Sunday. Just last Sunday. In the nation of Zambia. I preached to the whole nation on their national television. And I preached on the power of repentance. Why? Because the gospel of the kingdom shall be preached to the nations of the world. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Never become someone that the enemy can bribe. To tell lies about the kingdom. Say God forbid. Say God forbid. Ladies and gentlemen, people of God, this gospel is the power of God unto salvation. And today, understand that when you understand the power of the resurrection, let's look at Ephesians 1, 18 to 21. Is understanding coming? Is light coming? It says that, now hear this. It says, I pray that your heart will be flooded with light so that you can understand the confident hope he has given to those he has called. He says his holy people who are his rich and glorious inheritance. Verse 19. I also pray that you will understand the incredible greatness of God's power for us who believe him. This is the same mighty power. Verse 20. That raised Christ from the dead and seated him in the place of honor at God's right hand in the heavenly place. Now he is far above any ruler. Nad mocnosti, or authority, nad mocnosti, nad moci, or power, nad panstvo, or leader, a nad, or anything else, a nad každé meno, not only in this world, menované nielen v tomto, ale aj in the world to come. Budúcom veku. This is the nature of the believer. Kaj si, kaj si the one that believes in the Christ and his resurrection he or she Jov, alebo Jov, is also seated he tu bešes, far above a upreder, ladies and gentlemen nad I want to ask you a question da pučel otázka. I know you are physically sitting here right now. But according to this scripture, by the resurrection power, where are you seated? Oh my God. I want to ask you a question. According to this Bible, if you believe it, According to this verse here, when you believe in the Christ, the, the resurrected Savior, where are you seated? I want to ask you another question. Are you seated with sickness? Far above. Are you seated with poverty? Talk to me. Talk to me. Are you seated with struggling marriage? Are you seated with depression and oppression? 
I can't hear you. Are you seated with shame? No, where are you seated? The way you are saying it, there is no oomph in it. Where are you seated? Because that would be far above. You are dangerous. You are dangerous. You are seated. Far above. Let me tell you something. Please. When demons sees you, if they will show you the real behavior, it will shock you. That whilst you are running, they are running. They are running. The resurrection power. I said it has made you a different person. And so, because of time, I want to give you a few points to go home. It's too much. It's too much. It's too much. Now, benefits of the resurrection. I gave you why. Now, benefits. And then we will go home. Because there's too much to share. Number one. The resurrection power. Brings you to a place of. Newness in Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to tell you something. You came to church defeated today. But because you didn't know that the resurrection power has brought you to a place of newness. Newness in Christ. Look at 2 Corinthians 5.17. And I've read it already, but 2 Corinthians 5. This means that anyone who belongs to Christ has become a new person. Will you please look at your neighbor and tell them I'm a new person? Tell them you think you know me. You don't know me. I'm a new person. Tell them I'm a new person. You don't know me. No, you don't know me. You, you, you are yet to know because every day there is something new God is doing in my life. Please look at here. Look at here. Look at here. I want to encourage someone that went back to old life and you feel ashamed and you feel condemned and you feel like God cannot do anything with you that is the voice of the devil the Jesus that I know he doesn't condole sin but he said he that cometh to me I will in no wise cast out. And so the fact that you've come to him, let for the devil alone, you will be guilty. You will be full of shame. You will be full of fear. But when Jesus sees you, he says, come unto me, all you that are heavily laden, and I will give you rest. This is the reason why in Luke chapter 15, what we call the prodigal son, when he decided to come back to the father, the scripture says that whilst he was yet far away, the father saw him. Many of you, you are here all listening to me all around the nations of the world. And you feel condemned. The cross is enough. The blood is enough. The shame is wiped away. The sin is forgiven. This is what happened. 
He forgives you. What happened? So is there any time you go back where you lose is the joy of your salvation and the power to operate in that salvation. This is the reason why we refuse to sin so that we can continue to operate in the realm of power and authority. And authority. It's not because God cannot forgive. No, it is because we want to live honoring Him. But when we sin, He says we have a high priest who can be touched with the feelings of our infirmities. So I want to tell someone who feels condemned today that Jesus is calling you. He says, I died for you and I arose for you and that your power or my power is made perfect in your weakness. And he says, come and hear this. For human beings in sin we have to wait for one year or two or ten depending on how people feel before we forgive but in Jesus Christ on the cross when they came to him he said to them this day he said this day this day you will be with me this day this day will you tell your neighbor it is today tell your neighbor it is today tell your neighbor it is today it is today your healing is today your miracle is today your breakthrough is today your soundness is today in the name of Jesus if you believe it shout yes it is today Today, your friends may need one year, but with Jesus, it is now. Your parents may need a year, but with Jesus, it is now. You see, this is the reason why when we come to Him, don't go back the same way you came. In a minute, I'm about to call, make an altar call to invite people who want to enjoy the power of resurrection today not tomorrow today shout today someone who wants to be healed today someone who wants to be set free today someone that wants a miracle today a breakthrough today Soundness today. Open heavens today. Today. It's today. The resurrection brings us to a place. Oh my God. Can you pray for the time to stop? I have much to say. But I respect your time. Can you please stand on your feet? Out of my seven, the newness of Christ. The power of the resurrection brings you to a place of freedom from shame, affliction, reproached, by the power of resurrection shame afflictions reproach has been erased by the power of the resurrection that's why Christ rose from the dead hallelujah the power of the resurrection empowers you to 
to walk in the supernatural. We started by saying that you are not normal because now the same power that rose Christ from the dead the Bible says if that same power dwells in you then that same power will quicken you this is the reason why I am not the sick trying to be healed. And you are not the sick trying to be healed. But you are the healed. Protecting your territory. Ladies and gentlemen, you are armed and dangerous. You walk in the supernatural. The power of a resurrection quickens your mortal body. Today is the last day you are going to entertain weakness in your body. Today is the last day you are going to entertain sicknesses and diseases. Pastor, so you are saying we don't get sick? You are human. Based on degeneration and issues of life. You may be sick. But there is also a way out. Hallelujah. Amen. The power of the resurrection brings you to a place of the supernatural. And in 2 Corinthians, you're going to like this. 8 verse 9. The power of the resurrection brings you to a place of financial dominion. He says, For you know the generous grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. That though he was rich, yet for your sake, he became poor so that by his poverty you could make he will make you what? rich the power of resurrection when you look through and I conclude with this when you look through the crucifixion stories. There were three garments that appeared in the crucifixion story. The first garment was that the veil that was in the temple was torn. Now the veil was what separated the holies of holies and from the inner chamber of the temple and by his crucifixion and his resurrection the veil was torn from top to down and what it meant is that there is no longer separation you have access to everything he has power of resurrection there is no longer the pastor is anointed and I am somehow anointed no what we carry you carry what you carry I carry the same devil I can cast out you can cast out you carry what I carry the same Jesus that saved me is the same Jesus that saved you. You are armed and dangerous. The veil is the second garment was on the day of his crucifixion. They took his robe and they cast lot. The Bible says that his veil, his garment was made of such a quality material 
they couldn't even tell him. So they cast Lot. What is the representation of that? That the garment of shame, pain, affliction has been removed. And now you can have access to the beauty of Christ, the covering of Yahweh, the power and the glory of the King, the third garment was on the day when the disciples went to the tomb the Bible says that his grave cloth was folded nicely and placed on the side of the tomb what does that mean? In the Hebrew culture, when you invite a man or a woman to come to your house to have a meal, they will enjoy the meal. And after they enjoy the meal, if they really, really like it, then they will take the napkin or the handkerchief instead of leaving it like this they will fold it very nicely and they will place it on one side and what that means is that I enjoy this meal and I invite myself back what Jesus did in the tomb is that I'm going but I will not leave you as often. I'm coming back to a church that is powerful to a church that is anointed to a church that is full of the Holy Ghost. Hear me. Shune. Today, your Savior has placed on you the garment of glory. Today, your Savior has torn the veil. Today, your Savior has put a handkerchief and his grave cloth and folded it neatly and he's saying my child I'm coming back again will you be ready for me walk in power walk in the Holy Ghost walk in the anointing walk in the breakthrough hey hey lift up your right hand sing that song he has won the victory all over this place, raise this song. Hey, you have won it all. Hey, hey. That could not hold you. He's coming back for you. But this time around, not after we change. Celebrate the Lord. Are you worshiping Him?
not an ordinary Christian. The power is in you. The anointing is in you. Stop being afraid. Live like the child of God that you are. Walk in the anointing. Walk in the power. Walk in the revelation. Walk in the wisdom. Walk in it. But I want to tell you one thing. We need to go home. But you know, on this resurrection Sunday, online or here, you want to accept this power of resurrection. Come and let us pray together. You used to walk with God, but the fire is no longer there. Or maybe you've not given your life to Jesus and today you want to take this journey can you come church this is our time this is the reason why we came wherever you are I'm waiting on you I'm waiting on you come come if the Lord is tagging your heart and the Holy Spirit is telling you today is your day and you are sitting there and the Holy Spirit is telling you today is your time wherever you are there is nothing to be ashamed we must accept him publicly thank you I see if you're coming, come. I'm counting yeah, seven. One. There are people that are the Holy Ghost is taking you, attacking your heart. Come. Yes, I'm waiting on you too. Praise the Lord. Three. The Lord bless you. Come. Wow. What a blessing. Come. The Lord bless you. Come. Come, please. Wow. Come on. Clap for them. Look at ten here. Ten to me. Don't look at them. Don't worry. Look at here. Don't look at them. They are supposed to be here, but they are not. Amen. You are the one that is bold. There Amen. are some they are standing. The Lord bless you, my brother. God bless you. God bless you. Come, hallelujah. Come. 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 I'm waiting on you. You are standing there and the Holy Ghost is touching your heart. And you are saying today, I will make this decision. Hallelujah. Church, keep clapping. The Lord bless you. Keep clapping. Keep clapping. Keep clapping. If you are coming, stand over there. Come to the front a little bit. Come, come stand over there. Come. Hallelujah. Keep clapping. Keep clapping. Keep clapping. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. I'm waiting on you. Someone is standing there. And they are saying, I'm shy. This is your soul. Come. The Holy Ghost is drawing you. Hallelujah. Now, today, send the love of Jesus. I want you to look at your neighbor. And tell them, if you need to go, I will go with you. I tell them, tell them, and if they need help, hold their hands and come with them. Come on, ask them if Jesus is to come right now. Will you make a decision? Yes, I see people coming. If they want to come, hold their hands and come with them. Come on, hold someone's hand. Who wants to come? But they need a help. They need a help. They need, oh my God. Who else? Who else? Ask your neighbor. Let us pray. Yes, thank you. The Lord bless you. My God, keep clapping. Clap for them. Clap for them. Clap for them. Praise the Lord. Who else do we need to come with? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh my God. Friends. People of God, we are laughing, but this is a serious matter. And, and if you are still standing there, time is so fast. Spent. But this is so important. And I want you to know one thing Jesus, the heavens are so excited because. Your destiny is shaped forever. With your right hand lifted, the Lord bless you. Is there anyone that I need to wait for? Now, those of you that are, I want you to turn around.
turn around and, okay. find, and look at someone okay. and tell them your neighbor didn't ask you well but I want to ask you turn around okay. Okay. and ask, okay. ask the person okay. behind you ask the person behind you would you want to come with me ask, ask. ask. My friend, ask. Can you come with me? Amen. I can go with you. Amen. Do you need help? Now, if they need help, look at it. Look at the Lord touching them. Come, Michael, come, 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 the Lord bless you. Oh my God. See someone coming. Let's pray. Oh my God. Come on. Clap onto the Lord. Give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah. Are you clapping? People of God. The joy of heaven is the salvation of a man and a woman. And today, the reason why Jesus died is for what we are seeing here. Can you stretch forth your hand, those that are standing there? And I want you to pray this prayer with your heart. Say, Lord Jesus. Especially those of you in front, say, Lord Jesus. Thank you for your death. Thank you for the resurrection. You died for my sins. Today, I admit that I am a sinner. Forgive me of all my sins. Jesus, come into my heart. And from today, Write my name in the Lamb's Book of Life. From today, I will serve you. Thank you for dying for me. Holy Spirit, now fill me and use me for your kingdom. In Jesus' name, shout Amen! This is one of the most powerful decisions. After today's service, right after the service, please give me only three minutes of your time. I will meet all of you in this and I'll share with you very important information. And those of you that are sitting there, also, also if you wanted to pray the prayer and it's your first time I want you to join me there it will be only three, three maximum five minutes now share important information your life will never be the same may the Lord bless you Amen Church, as they take their seat, can you clap? you may be seated please clap now, thank you so much. We are about to go home. Thank you for your time. I want us to take our resurrection seat. My wife, please, can you bring ours and then lift it onto the Lord? Now, what is a resurrection seat? You may be seated, please, before we pray. The resurrection seed, as a church, it's one seed we take on every resurrection Sunday. What is the purpose? To help the budget of the church. So that we can do more for God. So that we can feed more people. We can spread the gospel it's based on what the Lord touches your heart what is the sacrifice to you may no be a sacrifice to me today 
I gathered my kids. Va shuda yo sroma jinja spes kre chabe. Apenjas lenge ane no banki. Let's see what's in it. Dikas ke ti tumeri pe tumare banki as controlling. And make sure they pull something out. Ahe yon make papes kre bank of ne uchti o chavore dine. Yes. I said to them, you have to. So each one of them are given. A sacrifice is a sacrifice. So whatever the Lord has touched your heart to, maybe you said you didn't know what it's about. The ushers have these special These special envelopes. And if you need one, you can pay for it. If you need one, you can pay for it. If you need one, you can pay for it. If you need one, you can pay for it. If you need one, you can pay for it. If you need one, you can pay for it. If you need one, you can pay for it. If you need one, you can pay for it. If you need one, you can pay for it. If you need one, you can pay for it. If you need one, you can pay for it. If you need one, you can pay for it. If you need one, you can pay for it. If you need one, you can pay for it. If you need one, you can pay for it. If you need one, you can pay for it. If you need one, you can pay for it. If you need one, you can pay for it. If you need one, you can pay for it. As God touches or as they does open for them, they give it. But whatever it is, it is a sacrifice for you. It is a sacrifice unto them. Can we pray? Let's stand on our feet, Father. Thank you for the opportunity to bring our sacrifices. And the resurrection scene. Bless your people. Touch their hearts. Do ti kintu lengre yilendar. Open doors. Send miracles. Do what only you can do. We cannot buy you, Lord. We don't use our money to buy you. We give so that the kingdom will move forward. That's why we give. We are not forced to give. We give because we love you. So we thank you. In Jesus' name. Those of you that are online, the information is out there. Please come and drop it at the altar and speak over it. Come and drop it at the altar if you brought it. Come and drop it if you brought it. The Lord bless you. 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 Can I pray for you? I just want to pray for you. Oh, okay, yeah, you can drop it over there. Come, come over there, I'll pray for you. Elder Luana, can you come? Hold her shoulder and then put your hand on her belly for me. <laughs> we pray for the hand of God to come upon you. We rebuke any attack against the work of the enemy. We declare strength, vitality, the covering of the blood, smooth delivery. We rebuke complications. And in the name of Jesus, we declare indeed this child shall be a sign and a wonder unto the nations of the world. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Give Jesus praise. Clap unto the Lord. Shall we rise and thank the Lord and go? I want to take this opportunity. I want to really. I've taken a lot of your time. But it's, it's Resurrection Sunday. Amen. So I want to say thank you. Those of you that are here for the first time. Allow us to say hello before you go. And if you came for us to pray, I will meet you over here. Amen. And I want uh, Pastor Roman and uh, uh, Edward to join me and uh, over there. And um, Nicole as well. Amen. Amen.
May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his confidence towards you. May the Lord give you peace. May you enjoy the blessings of the resurrection. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Congratulations. Happy Resurrection Sunday. And the Lord bless you. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you for being part of our online worship experience. I know you've been so blessed. Thank you also for partnering with us as we take the gospel outside these four corners of the world into the world. We never want to end our broadcast until we give you a chance for you to give your life to Jesus Christ. The Bible says with your heart you believe and with your mouth you confess. So simply say this prayer with me and we will rejoice with you. Dear Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Be my Lord and Savior. Forgive me of all my sins and write me in the book of life. Praise God if you have said this prayer. Now you have to do two things. Get into a Bible-believing church. Faith International is available to help you in your next steps as you walk with the Lord. May the Lord bless you until our next online experience. You are blessed.